Do you know how hard it is to not eat those? Oh my gosh. Coffee. I need more coffee. Today, and it's already, it's only 8.30. This is my third cup of coffee. Yes, my third. I need to clean my thingy. Um, yeah, I've already done like a whole day's worth of work, except for my dishes. I left over from last night because I was too lazy to do them last night. <sighs> I need my coffee. Good morning. It is Monday. I have been, I got up early as usual. I always get up early, but <sighs> my goodness, I have dusted. The only thing I haven't done is vacuum. I dusted, I cleaned up, I did my dishes. I still have a sink full of dishes, but the dishwasher's going and that's full. Um, Cause I didn't do anything this weekend cause I didn't feel like it, I was too lazy. Um, what else, what else, what else? And I tried this new lipstick on this morning and I don't like it. I don't know, I'm not a red person. And as soon as I put it on, I'm like, oh my God, I look just like my mother. She wore red lipstick all the time. So I just see my mother now in me. I look like her anyway, just a taller version. <sighs> Speaking of mother, there's really no change in her. She still has no glasses and I don't know when they're going to replace her glasses or if they're even going to replace her glasses. Makes me crazy. Uh, apparently the insurance, it's an insurance thing and Oh my God, I, I'm so tired of fighting with him so home. I, I just, I don't know. I could just kick myself sometimes to leave it, putting her in there, but that's hindsight. You know, I just, I don't know. Anyway, physically she's doing okay. Mentally, you know, she's still in grade school and boarding school and looking for par and, you know, uh, asking me if I had a date and, and then she, then she'd know, you know, who I was, but not really, you know. I'd say, you know, I'm Elaine, and she's like, oh yeah, Elaine, my daughter. And then she said, have you, did you get married, or something like that, questions like that, and it's like, I don't know, I, mentally I can't handle even going, I can't handle the conversations, it's just upsetting to me, and I end up crying every time I go there. God. I can't stay very long. I honestly, I can't stay. So, um, drove by the house. The house is like, um, got these papers on the doorways and boarded up and that's depressing. So that made me cry. I mean, I'm such an emotional person anyway, but this whole situation has just turned my whole world upside down and I don't like any of it. So anyways, I should be happy, I know. I mean, I am. I, I'm settling into apartment living. Um, I'm getting there. Trying not to feel guilty for not working. Sally told me to forget about it and stop worrying. I think I'm driving him crazy by, you know, worrying about it. So, um, we, we should be okay, you know. I love having Brenda here. It's been great. And after the holidays, we're getting... Um, Cleo back. Remember Cleo? It was Brenda's cat. We had Jedi and Cleo. Cleo is the multicolored one. So we are getting her back. We have to pay rent for her, which is an extra $50 a month. But you know what? We need some company around here. At least I need some company around here during the day. So um, I can't wait. She Right now she's with Brenda's boyfriend and her mother has been you know, watching her and um, she's been, you know, staying with her for some emotional support as well. But, um, and then when she gets all settled, I think we're going to get another kitten because dogs in this, in this apartment building are just, um, they're just, I mean, you can have dogs, but I don't want to have to deal with the people complaining again about the barking. So, which, it, it's really weird. There are, there's a lot of dogs in this complex. Uh, the people, they really, 
stink at not picking up the dog poop. And there are there are like um, collection sites like all over the park. So, but they stink at they they really they don't do a good job about picking up their after their own dog. And I also don't hear any of them barking. Now Tinkerbell, she barked constantly. And as soon as I took her outside, she would bark. You know her. She was barking at the leaves, barking at the wind, barking at anything that moved. So that's why people were complaining. And uh, I'll tell you, I miss her every second of the day. I can't talk about her because I'll tear her. Um, but I just miss her terribly. Anyways, enough of that. As soon as we get out of this apartment and into somewhere that we can have more animals, I'm getting one or two dogs, seriously. I cannot stand without being with a dog. Um, and you have to pay more money for rent for a dog as well, like more than a cat, which is stupid. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee. Um, I have to make some butterscotch cookies, which were, which are my very most favorite. It's gonna to be totally challenging for me not to eat those cookies because they're my favorite. They are award-winning, they were award-winning Topsfield Fair cookies. I have that recipe and it's just, I make them every single year um, like a triple batch because they go to everybody. So um, yeah, it's gonna be challenging, but I know if I eat them, I'm gonna eat like 10 of them. I, I kid you not, I'm gonna, eat, I will eat them until I get a stomach ache. And then I'll say, what the heck did I eat that for? But I know myself, so I can't even taste it. I can't lick the spoon. I can't lick any anything off my fingers, nothing, because it'll be all over with. It'll be gone. I'll be eating them all. So I'm going to be doing that. Then I'm going to be making uh, all that untuna. Oh, my God. It's from Brand New Vegan. I think the recipe is. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check, but Sully loves it. I am totally shocked. No more cold cuts for Sully. Can you believe it? It's a miracle. Pigs do fly. I kid you not, hell froze over because Sully is done with cold cuts and he's eating chickpeas for his sandwiches. I don't, I don't put onion or celery in or the carrots in it because he doesn't like those. But holy moly, he's eating chickpea sandwiches. What is this world coming to? I just don't understand. <laughs> oh, dear. So, anyways, uh, that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make that. And then, I don't know. i got to make my list of what I have to pick up because I haven't started any Christmas shopping. Nothing at all. No, I lied. I did get a couple of things for, for Kate, and, and I got a sweatshirt for Sully. But other than that, nothing, nothing at all. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to do what I need to do, watch some Christmas movies, and I'll see you later on. Bye. Here is the vegan tuna salad that I make for Sully. I made two, um, two servings this time. Not servings. Two recipes? Yeah. Anyway, I doubled the recipe. That's what I'm trying to spit out. Um, so that should get him... Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how long it's going to last. It's all new to me. So I'll let you know how many, how much it lasts. I'm guessing three days, maybe? I don't know. I make six sandwiches a day. I don't know. But... There's two cans of garbanzo beans in here, so we'll see how that goes. This is today's dinner. This is leftover um, potato leek soup with broccoli, some nutritional yeast, and sriracha. And that is today's dinner.